Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today I'm so there's some Monster Legends Week's video with some brand new relics as well as some new multiversal monsters. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first week we have is the full bounty hunt shop right here. You can see all of the monsters that you can get out of the new bounty hunt. And I'll go over a little bit of these and tell you guys which ones are good. Worth is actually pretty decent. He's really old though. And Blaster Kong's pretty good as well, but he's also pretty old. And yeah, those are the only two that really stand out for me. Epigursus is really cool actually i do like him but yeah mainly the two that i named earlier but i'm sure there are some other good ones in here but those are just the two that i remember being at least decent so yeah definitely go ahead and try to get those monsters they seem okay and then we have a new image for the season one of the multiversal era right here and we have some brand new monsters these two are most likely going to be the legends past mythics that is at least what i think and they look awesome i actually really love the fire one he looks very very, very cool. I hope he's the free Legends Pass one. Because yeah, he is a very, very cool, very cool monster. And the other one looks okay as well, but definitely not nearly as cool as the fire one. And I actually like the fire one more than the ancestor monster as well. And if you didn't know, the ancestor is the one in the back. But yeah, the ancestor is okay as well. And the fire one is really, really cool. And then we have some new relics. We have the Electra Patrol banner. We have the Electra Patrol trap and the Electra Patrol sword. I actually believe that we have them down here. Yeah, we can look at those in a second but first we have the new multiplayer monster named Brankio. we have already seen his moveset but his traits are immune to burn immune to freeze and drown to all enemies which is not very good honestly kind of bad traits like really bad traits and then we have his design right here which also looks a little goofy and just kind of weird yeah this monster will not be super good but i guess you can still go and get him because multiplayer monsters are very easy to get and then we have all of the electro patrol relics that we just looked at so this one can deal damage to all enemies and apply days to all enemies which is okay it can also give armor and apply damage boost if you have allies in the electro patrol faction and then if the ancestor is on your team it will increase the wearer's power by percent points and apply minor damage boost which is okay so yeah that seems like a pretty decent relic and then the trap will go ahead and remove stamina from attacker and apply poison which is actually pretty great it can also heal all allies which is really cool and it can increase all allies maximum life and apply vulnerable to all enemies which is very good that is a very good relic i like that one more than the last one and then we also have the banner so if any allies stamina is below 50% it'll give stamina to the target it can also go ahead and deal fire damage and burn all enemies if enemy has ignite and then it can also do special damage to all enemies and apply control immunity to all allies which is pretty cool but yeah that one seems pretty decent as well the best one in my opinion is definitely the trap though and then we have the multiversal era season one checklist so the two monsters that we looked at up there with the ancestor are actually in the conjuring which actually makes a lot more sense so those are going to be the two conjuring monsters and then the free legends pass and the legends pass are right here so the free one is going to be swift Daga. the paid one is going to be uv forge which is another uv fusion monster and then shield bolt is going to be the 50 dollar one and then we have a bunch of other confirmed monsters right here if you want to know where any of them are going to be. Yeah, that is pretty much all the leaks we have for the new multiversal era. A ton of new stuff. We got three new monsters right here and they all look pretty decent. The best one, in my opinion, is definitely the one on the right. He looks very, very cool. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these designs. And I'll see you in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.